have you ever had a freaking strong sugar craving comes in and you're like consumed by the thought of like i need this dessert and i feel guilty if i get give into it and have a dessert and if i don't inevitably that is going to lead to a binge like it happens to me all the time ditching that all or nothing mentality is super important and that's what's been helping me recently so i'm going to share with you a few small tricks and things that i've been doing that are going to help manage those sugar cravings and satisfy your sweet tooth without feeling guilty and without causing a binge later so here's what i've been doing for breakfast, I will have waffles, but I will put on an egg and some sausage and then a teeny tiny bit of maple syrup. And it gives me that sweet and salty, sweet and savory combo. <laughs> so this is my lunch. I just have like charcuterie, but I'll skip the crackers. And then I use like a pear or an apple as my cracker. It satisfies like that desire to have sweet, but also it's like, feels healthy. I went to this really cute cafe for breakfast the other day. I was sitting there reading the menu and I wanted something on the sweeter side. That's just what I was craving at the time. So I was like reading through like waffles, pancakes, French toast. And then they always do those fancy ones where it's like, cream cheese filled Nutella on the top with strawberries and they have powdered sugar sprinkled on the top. You know, like all those crazy over the top things that you find in little cafes. I'm like, why are they adding all of this extra sugar? So immediately I'm ruling those things out. Okay, can't have that. I started reading the savory side of the menu and all I'm thinking about is man, I wish I could have these sweet potato pancakes, but they sprinkled powdered sugar on the top and there's candied pecans in there. And then once I add the syrup, it's like too much sugar. And I know that it's going to be like in my system and it'll start making me crave more and more sugar. So I'm reading these savory things and it's just, it's not going to be satisfying. Then I got this epiphany and it was like angel singing, light shining down, like, kind of a moment <laughs> it was like I can ask them to leave the powdered sugar off I'll put a little extra butter and I won't use syrup so I'll get the sweetness from the candied pecans but I won't have all of that extra added sugar and that will satisfy my craving let me tell you I was able to eat only one of those because there was like three huge ones then I'm like oh my gosh I could totally do this. It satisfied that sugar craving without being way too much. And I felt really good about doing that and keeping that balance. So another one of the things that I really like doing is using these little squirt Mios type things, but I don't like the Mios brand because it has aspartame or sucralose in there, one of those things, and those are really bad for you. So since stevia is not one of the things that spikes your blood sugar, I really like using this brand, the Stir brand, because it is sweetened with stevia and not sucralose. I've also found some other drink mixes that are a little bit sweet that'll satisfy the sugar craving and then it's just like drinking dessert instead. So I have this calm stuff that I bought at Costco and I'm like, okay, this is like a double whammy because usually I get super overwhelmed wanting the dessert and this calm stuff is actually supposed to bring you down like calm anxiety, hence the name calm, you know, that makes sense. <laughs> So I really like that. And then the, the third type of a drink that I like to use is just making frozen fruit smoothies. And I'll basically add ice and water to that. Sometimes maybe like a Zevia, which is sweetened with Stevia, like a soda. Um, and then I'll just like mix that up and it's like having a dessert. So I am trying to cut back on sugar, but cutting it out completely, of course, 
like I said at the beginning, is a no-go. So I have to, I found something that was like super satisfying as far as like biting into it. Like those sweet and salty Nutra bars that you can find, they're like in a green box. Those are very satisfying, but they were higher in sugar than I would like. So I actually found these nut bars and I try not to have one of these every day because it does have added sugar there's only four grams of added sugar and that might seem like a lot but if i'm only having one of these a day and having four grams of sugar that's well below the amount that you're supposed to have recommended by the american heart association and that is 25 grams so this is well under so i feel like it's a very good compromise to satisfy a dessert craving Another thing that I've been doing is actually dried fruit. Dried dates are my favorite. They're like super sweet, but there's no added sugar in them. So it's a natural sweetness, kind of like concentrated because they are dried. Although I don't actually know what they look like when they come off of a tree. Maybe I should look that up. And I saw this thing the other day online. It was dates with peanut butter and then like a little bit of chocolate and it's supposed to taste like a Snickers bar. I don't know how that, true that is. Well, this is a very satisfying treat. I don't know if it really tastes like a Snickers, but it definitely feels like I'm indulging in having a dessert. You just have to be really careful if you have dried fruit because the more of that you eat, the more, let's say it just causes some intestinal issues, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so these are some of the things that I have been doing lately, and I hope that you find some of them helpful. If you have some that I didn't mention, share with me down in the comments. If you want to check out this video where I challenge myself to stay under the 25 grams of recommended sugar per day, then you should check out this video.